We're over here at YCS Anaheim with a solo with his top four deck profile. Let's get on into it. Okay, cool. The standard <laughs> metal foes, like, I don't think there's a whole lot to be explained here. There was some argument for, oh, well, there's some argument for not playing three of this. I don't think that's true. Like, you just want to see as many as you can, because, like, the games I lost, I just didn't draw any. Uh, these guys, because they're the best pendulums out there. Luster, because it just gets you more pendulums. Three eccentric, just because it combos really well with combination. It just get, it gets you more plays, and your best hands have one eccentric in it, so. That's, yeah. Uh, two maxis. I felt like naming this, because I expected, like, a lot of hero decks, or just a lot of toad decks, and I was right. Uh, rabbit, because it's broken. Uh, three gofu. Uh, this card was pretty good. I ended up playing Ultimaya for this event just because everyone was playing Retaliating Seed. I wanted something to do that wasn't fusion summoning. Uh, three Desires. I'm playing 45 cards, so like I resolve two a lot. And uh, it's just really good. And draw two is pretty good. Uh, two Decision. I never wanted to draw two this card. Happened anyway, but like it's still pretty good. Uh, two Fusion, because like I think you need to now. Uh, two MST, uh, just because it works with combination if you have to, and then... I didn't want to deal with main deck anti-spells, and just getting rid of back row was pretty good. Uh, fusion, and then I play main deck to Regeki, because it, like, it works really well in the mirror, where it clears their, like, it forces out the fusions, or it's really good against, like, Dark Lords or uh, Paleozoics. And then for traps, I played a combination counter. I ended up <coughs> switching out a combination for a counter, just because I wanted to play a slower build instead of, like, the Billy Break version, just because uh, the Retaliating Seed thing. Uh, for the other traps, I played Two Dimensional Barrier and Emptiness, just because I felt like the way the, the mirror is now, you can't win just by doing the normal things. You have to have like some kind of just one of these where you just I don't even know, like yeah, uh, I don't know, you blow them out. Uh, that's it for the main uh, extra deck. I played three Mithrilium. We still just need it. Two Alkahest. Uh, I don't know if I needed to, but I didn't want to not have it. I probably needed two of this, but I, I was fine. I won already Calica. And then one Automante because I played the, what's it called, Ultimaya. And Ultimaya had this and this as targets. And I played Omega and Vermilion. I also, like, I made, I went for this instead of the second Ori Calc just because I never wanted to be in a position where I have the play to pop the combination, I just didn't have this card. It seemed like worth the risk of not needing the Ori Calc. And then for Exceeds, I played one Break Surge, my only rank three, and then the Utopias. Side deck, uh, two raw sphere mode, just because the only decks I really wanted to side kaiju's against, like they usually made so many that like one was never enough, and then so it ended up being lava golem for me, and then that was never enough, and then yeah, fuck it, <laughs> <laughs> go in. Uh, Jinzo, because I was really afraid of Paleozoics, and I should have signed a third. I didn't think it was gonna be this popular. Uh, Chaos hunter, because I wanted a, a way to beat uh, ABC better going second, like, and I felt like this was just something we wanted to try, and it was okay. Uh, three Retaliating C for the mirror. Uh, system downs for ABCs. Uh, Dark Hole again for Paleozoics and Dark Lords. And, uh, two Cyclones for Paleozoics and mirror. And what shoutouts do you have? Uh, shoutouts to Jabra, shoutouts to Skylar Hennessy, uh, shoutouts to Ed and Elvis for making the f like top four again. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and Chase Furman. <laughs>